Today on Toy Shiz, we're checking out some five POA heroes in a half shell. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we're totally checking out the brand new Super 7 5 POA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reaction. All four brothers, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. Really nice callback to the old Playmates cards, especially that artwork by Turbo Pork. We'll talk about that in just a second. But yeah, you get the reaction slash Kenner look right there on the backside. Again, very much Playmates toys. Super 7 really does a lot in bringing back Playmates. They do it well. They do a lot of it, but they do it well in that sense. And you do get the clip and collect cards, which again, very much Playmates. No pizza points. Why can't we collect the pizza points and send away for one of these figures, right? But you get bios for all the different figures and just let me tell you, the artwork are what sell it. It pained me to open these, but at the same time, yeah, there we go, we gotta do it. We gotta open it up and you can save the card backs if you like, but Turbo Pork, if you're listening, hot dang, you absolutely nailed this. This looks fantastic and it really adds to the whole value of it. It's the art and the look of the figures for me, they just sell it. Now they are a little bit expensive, I'll tell you that, but because it's Super 7, they are made in a smaller quantity, smaller company. If you want them, that's the price you just gotta pay. So we're gonna have some fun today. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot slice of pizza with jelly beans and marshmallows on it, or whatever the turtles would eat. This is a look at the brand new Reaction Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 5 POA figures by Super 7. And here are all the figures out of the packaging. They don't come with stands. I just did it because I think it looks cool. They fit really nice on the DC Multiverse stands. They come with their respective weapons and they each come with a slice of pizza. And the pizzas are done nice. It's very simple. There's no paint or anything on it. And it's meant to emulate the old Playmates toys, weapon trees and everything else. Same plastic, same orange coloring. With Donatello, let's start off with him. Again, if you want to stand, they're not bad stands. But Donatello, very much the old color for old Donnie, and they did it well. He's got the cross straps for his belt, so they give him that look. I remember swapping it out, maybe he does suspender style, but yeah, he kicks out the arms, and he's got holes in the bottom of his feet, and of course the head moves, but Raphael, same thing. I really like the colors on him. He really stands out. Really nice mutagen green. He's got his tiny little size right there. No weapon storage on these. That's one bummer, I think, that for the price you're paying, at least be able to put the weapons in their belts. I think that that would have been a nice little add-on. And as you can see, there's really two body molds, four different heads. Donatello and Leonardo both share it, while Michelangelo shares the one with Raphael. I actually like the color scheme and everything, the, I think the most for Michelangelo. I think he came out the best. Nunchucks, again, weapon storage would have been ideal. I think that's a really missed opportunity because that's part of the fun, right? Maybe a couple other extra weapons here and there. But yeah, here are all the turtles next to their 1980s Playmates toys counterparts, and you can see Super 7 has actually done a great job in mimicking those colors. So they did come out really cool. It is a very simplistic take. And I think that these are geared more for collectors. I think if you keep them in the box, I think that's probably the best bet. And as you can see, kind of on Raphael, especially with his little thing in the back to put that weapon in, that would have been really cool to do. But and this is really gonna be one of those times where I think artwork and figure really mesh well together. So if you're a collector in that sense of turtle stuff, I'd say keep it in the box. I think that's where they work the best. The five POA stuff has really come back. Really retro is in the air, right? 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s, all that kind of stuff. They're doing it all. And every company is jumping on board in some sense. And yeah, I'm looking for these Mandalorian retro figures. So yeah, the turtles actually go really nicely with the Kenner Batman. So you can do Batman versus Ninja Turtles. And here they are lined up to the new Marvel 375s. They're in that height, but I don't think they fit at all in that sense with the scale. Here's a Super 7 Mutagen Man. I don't collect Super 7 Turtles. I did grab this because I've always loved that design. They did recently unveil a new wave of Ultimate TMNT and that Leatherhead and Ray Filet they're calling my name. That, that looks pretty cool. Plus, it looks like the Mutanimals Leatherhead, so 
Archie Comics. Yeah. Anyways, and if you are interested, and for the most part, in some sense, yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good. You could put them with some old Playmates toys. And the one thing, when I was kind of lining them up, playing with them, looking at them, this really reminded me of the old Game Boy game, Ninja Turtles 2, back from the sewers. Just the way, when you turn them to the side, they kind of have that simple look to them. Pizza time. If you've never played that game, do so. It's a lot of fun. And yes, they hold all their pizza slices, although some wrist articulation would have been cool. But that defeats the purpose. They're supposed to be five POA. So just have some fun with them. I totally get where they're going with these. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at these new TMNT reaction figures. One, I really like the simplistic nature of them. Two, they're totally different. They're outside the realm of a multi-articulated figure. They're outside the realm of Playmates while still emulating them. I like the minimum weapons while also I still would have liked to have seen a few extra ones. Maybe a couple Ninja Stars or something like that. Turbo Pork's artwork sells it. If you want these, keep them in the box because it's just so good. Yeah, they are so cool to see and it make for a great display if you're a Ninja Turtle fan. That's the one time I'm going to tell you to keep these in the box because the artwork is that darn good. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Ninja Turtle figures. Are they for you? Will you be picking them up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, pizza time. It's important during the weekends especially. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.